what up YouTube in this video series I'm going to be showing you guys how to build various gaming PCs in different price price points and um, this is going to be the first part of the series where I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a uh, gaming PC or a gaming rig for about 450 to 500 dollars now in this um, video I'm going to be showing you guys the Intel version of this video which will be um, geared toward a Intel CPU slash Intel motherboard and um, let's get started all the parts slash components that will be built on this computer are from Newegg.com and the pricing list is as of July 27th, 2011. The case that we're going to be using for this PC build is going to be the NZXT Gamma Series Classic or Gamma Classic Series 001 Black Steel ATX mid tower computer case and this runs you thirty six dollars on Newegg. Now this has excellent expandability with up to eleven drive bays featuring four five and a quarter inch um, external drive bays as well as seven three and a quarter inch drive bays. This also does have exceptional cooling performance with um, support for a rear 120 millimeter fan for exhaust and up to five additional 120 millimeter fans for ultimate cooling performance and does have superior cable management easy upgrade to cooling to liquid cooling and a convenient front IO panel with access to two USB 2 port ports one eSATA and two additional line in and line out audio ports. even though a DVD burner slash um, CD ROM is not necessary. The slide on DVD burner for only 20 bucks is a great buy and is a great necessity for your PC build. This next part is also not necessary for every single um, PC build, but it is great if you will be overclocking your CPU for optimal performance. And this is a Cooler Master 80 millimeter long life sleeve bearing CPU cooler, which is, which will run you around 15 dollars. And um, what this is, it's a um, third-party CPU cooler which will allow you to get a decent overclock from your CPU and does have support for Intel LGA 775, 1155, and 1156 CPU sockets. The next part of the PC build is the RAM. The RAM we're going to be using is going to be the Mushkin Enhanced Silverline 4GB, 2x2GB, 240 pin DDR3 um, RAM which is clocked at around 1333 megahertz and this is a du dual channel kit desktop model and is available for $31.99 the hard drive that we'll be using for this build is a Western Digital Caviar Blue 500 gigabyte 72 RPM 7200 RPM SATA drive which will which is a 6 gigabit per second SATA drive which will take um, use of the uh, motherboard 6 gigabit per second SATA ports and this is a 3.5 inch drive and is available for $39.99 and for an additional $20 you could upgrade to a Western Digital Caviar Black which is a more high performance drive and does have optimal read and write speeds the motherboard that we will be using for this build is a AS Rock H61 um, i Cafe LGA 1155 uh, motherboard with the Intel H61 chipset, which um, does have support for HDMI, SATA 6 uh, 6 gigabit per second, USB 3.0, and this is a ATX Intel motherboard, and does have um, four memory slots each at DDR3 1333 megahertz for a um, um, whopping total of up to 16 gigabits of DDR3 memory. The processor that we'll be using is going to be a Intel second generation Sandy Bridge Core i3 processor that is clocked at 3.1 gigahertz and does use the LGA 1155 socket and this is a dual core processor. Now remember because the um, motherboard does support up the Core i7 processors you can always upgrade to a better and newer processor. Even though a graphics card is not necessary, it is always great to have one for optimal graphics performance. And the one that we will be using for this build is a Asus ATI Radeon 6450 512 megabit DDR3 graphics card that does use PCI Express 2.1 times 16. And this is a low profile ready video card for $50. And lastly, the last component that we'll be using for this PC build is going to be the power supply. This is a 585 watt ATX 12 watt power supply and this is a great power supply which offers